I made a Breath of the Wild video a while back, so why am I making another one? Well, a lot's changed, and for the better. The Breath of the Wild video I made was one of my most popular Steam Deck related videos I've made, and for good reason, because y'all want to play modded Breath of the Wild on the go. But a lot has changed since then, starting with the fact that the sequel to the Breath of the Wild now has an actual title, Tears of the Kingdom. I'll dust my switch off for this game right here. Simu 2.0 is out, and there's a native Linux version, though the native Linux version is very unoptimized. I'd wait till they optimize the Linux version of Simu. As for Simu 2.0 itself, I would actually hold off on updating it. Simu Hook is no longer compatible with Simu 2.0. In theory, Simu 2.0 implements a lot of the features that Simu Hook implements, but cutscenes seem to crash no matter what your settings are. As for this video, you'll want to use Simu 1.27.1, aka the last version that supports Simu Hook. Perhaps this will be fixed in the future. And finally, probably the only reason I'm even making this video right here. BCML, also known as Breath of the Wild Cross-Platform Mod Loader. There is now an easy to use installer script, courtesy of Lily aka SKS316. First things first, you will need a copy of Breath of the Wild. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be covering the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. You will also need the update and DLC as well. To future-proof yourself, you'll need a method to decrypt all of the game files, including the game itself and the DLC and update. You can find that online. For setting Simu up, I recommend using EmuDeck. EmuDeck will not only set Simu up for you, but it'll also set up other emulators as well. Link to the video in the description down below. EmuDeck, however, does not install Simu Hook for you. You need to do that yourself. It's as easy as it is on Windows. All you have to do is download the Simu hook files and then extract them into the Simu folder. So, without further ado, let's begin then, shall we? First, you'll want to check out this GitHub page. There should be a link in the description down below. So, you'll want to download this installer from the GitHub page. But you won't want to run it yet because you'll need to install a few other things before you can, well, run this installation file. The first of which, of course, is Miniconda. There's a link to Miniconda on the GitHub page, but I'll post a link in the description down below. You'll need a version of Miniconda with Python 3.7. Once that's installed, you'll want to make this executable. Just right-click the Miniconda script file, and then press Properties, and then make it executable. From there, you can just run it in your command line. Just follow the instructions on the screen and you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. I would keep the directory as default, just press enter here. And now Miniconda is done. Now you can run this installer right here. Just press continue. After you press continue, you should see this window right here. All you need to do is just let this do its thing right here. The process will take a while, but once it's done, you'll see this right here. Just press OK and then now you're done. If you look in your start menu, in the games tab, you'll see a brand new icon, BCML. The setup process is really simple. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the screen right here. Just keep proceeding. And as you can see here, there are a couple of things you need to do. First, you need to define your Simu directory. Just select the folder Simu lives in. As you can see, it lives here. As for the update directory, well, you'll want to read this carefully. If you hover over this, this will tell you where it should be. In the MLC01 folder, you'll want to go into the user folder, and then go into title, and then you'll want to select 000005000E. And then you want to select the only folder, and then the content folder and that's how you get the update directory. The instructions for the DLC are pretty similar to the instructions for the update. My suggestion is to read that carefully, and you'll figure out where it is. If you selected the correct directory, then there should be a green check mark. Now for the games directory. The games directory isn't exactly straightforward. In fact, your ROM could live basically anywhere. You just need to select the content folder inside of your ROM folder. And now you can select your game language, which is US English for me. And now you're done. And now 
you're ready to install some mods. To install mods, you'll want to click on that bottom right icon right there and select whatever BNP file you installed. Sometimes mods will have separate Switch versions and Wii U versions. Be sure to download the version that's appropriate for you. And this is the part where I stop the tutorial. BCML has the ability to launch CMU directly from the launcher itself. But this only really functions on a typical Linux PC because Linux PCs have Wine installed. As you may have guessed, the Steam Deck doesn't have plain old Wine installed. And yes, Proton is based on Wine, and Proton would work just fine. The issue is BCML expects Wine, like regular old default Wine. So unfortunately, we can't launch the game directly from this mod loader. Maybe in the future we'll be able to do so, and it'll give me an excuse to make a third video. What you can do though is in fact export these mods and add them to Simu directly. There's a very convenient little button down here. What you want to do is browse to your Simu folder. Once you're in your Simu folder, you want to go to the graphics pack folder. That's where all of your mods live, believe it or not. This will combine all of your installed mods into one mod folder. Once the exporting process is finished, you want to make a folder in the graphics pack folder. You can just name it whatever you want. I named it BCML mods and just let it do its thing. Now once you're done with that, you'll want to go into Simu. You'll want to right click Edit Graphics Packs. You'll want to go ahead and enable the following mods. FPS++, Extended Memory, Exported BCML Mod. Everything else is purely optional. There's even cheats at the top that disable durability loss if you don't like the durability system. And you're ready to play the game. Yeah, the game doesn't look like it runs that great. And that's because this is Simu 2.0. This is the part where I realized you should use an older version of Simu to play on the Steam Deck for right now. The older version seems to run better for some reason. I don't know why. That's right, it's Q&A time. Here, I'll try to answer some questions. Question 1. What settings are you running this at? As for the emulator itself, I'm using the default Emu Deck settings, which is Vulkan, of course. I also showed y'all the enhancements that I run. As for my Steam Deck settings, well, I capped my display to 40 hertz, and I also capped the frame rate to 40 as well. I also limited the watts down to 11 watts, and I limited the GPU clock frequency down to 1300. Thanks to a commenter on one of my prior videos, I managed to try these settings out, and man, they're really good. You can easily maintain 40 hertz. Cutscenes will always be limited to 30 FPS, and while I'm actually playing the game handheld and not like recording it using Steam Link, it rarely dips. Question 2. Why am I getting constant blood moons? Blood moons not only function as a way for enemies to respawn, but also as a way to flush out the memory. On real hardware on an unmodified version of the game? This typically isn't an issue, but when you throw mods into the mix, especially on real hardware, things can go a little haywire. But if you enable extended memory, you shouldn't have issues with blood moons whatsoever. Also, if you change out mods, it may not hurt to just start a new save file. Question 3. Why the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild? For the Steam Deck in particular, the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild runs better anyways, and general consensus is if you want to play Breath of the Wild on PC, you should just emulate the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild anyways. Question 4. Where can I get a Breath of the Wild Stop right there. No, I'm not going to help you with this. Final question. Why run an old version of Simu? There seems to be some regression in performance on the newer versions of Simu. Not to mention the aforementioned issues where cutscenes crash the game. You would not be able to start the game up. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that Breath of the Wild runs on Steam Deck as per usual. And of course, we learned how to set up BCML directly on your Steam Deck. That prior video is now outdated. Thanks for sticking around for the ride, and I appreciate you getting me up to 5,000 subs. We finally relaunched our Patreon page, so be sure to check us out if you want to support us. Promise we'll start doing exclusive content soon. If you like high-tech lowlife, you should subscribe and check out my other videos. And for more high-tech lowlife updates, be sure to join our Discord server in the description below. 